Hi there friends, it's Pastor Dan with this week's Pastor's Devotional. Uh, this week I'm doing some writing at a retreat center in Schulenburg, Texas. It is early morning out here and I uh, wanted to extend to you uh, Christian greetings in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit who is alive and on display out here in the splendor of His creation. Um, it is uh, sunrise. Um, last night I was here uh, out in the field looking at a sky full of stars that uh, seem to beam a lot brighter out in the country. And um, this morning as I'm seeing uh, the beauty of uh, this lake here and signs of nature and birds um, and the rising of the sun yet again, I'm reminded of Psalm 119 verse 3 that says, From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And so, uh, as God's people, by faith, uh, we believe and reach out to God. And in response to the beauty of His creation, the inspiration that He places in our hearts, <clears throat> and um, praise uh, comes from within in response. My teenage sons were growing up, uh, when we would go visit uh, family or other people's houses on holidays, one of their favorite games to play was uh, hide and seek. And uh, they, they never really seemed to outgrow it. They loved to turn off the lights uh, and keep it dark and they could play for hours uh, just trying to be clever in finding the, the best places to hide. And so the person who was it sometimes had a hard time finding uh, everybody and um, and so when they had uh, church lock-ins and they're up all night with their friends um, doing a mix of recreation and worship and prayer uh, hide-and-seek uh, actually wasn't their favorite game in settings like that uh, variation you might say uh, sardines uh, and the difference is uh, it kind of grows. Uh, when you find somebody, you you stay quiet and you uh, you you touch them, and then the person looking has to ha uh, people keep looking to find the blob uh, that's hidden in the darkness, and um, it tends to be a little more fun. And um, what gives them away is uh, those kids who are having such a, a good time. They can't they can't keep the the joy uh, silent and uh, the people who are looking they can hear the giggles and um, that could be how it is how it is how God wants it to be in the church today too is that um, God wants to be found and he wants us to seek him uh, but for those of us uh, who have found him we are to share with joy and have an open circle where uh, people <clears throat> who, who know us, who see us, who are curious, they can come on in and they can join in the game and they can connect and be with people in community. Jeremiah 29, uh, 13 and 14 says, You will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back from captivity. What joy there is when we seek the Lord uh, with all our heart and we find him. And in those times, he will, his promise says, to bring us back from captivity and, um, and restore us with the joy we were meant to have. In, in the Lord our Maker. And so friends, uh, I pray that this day and this week that the Lord is sending you signs and that uh, as you seek Him, you can follow Him and you will be found uh, by Him because He is looking for you. Um, may we be found in Him this week. 
In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, best wishes and blessings from Schulenburg, Texas.